Back to that breaking news in Hartford. An investigation is underway right now after a deadly shooting. A man was killed in the area of Hillside Avenue. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Galal joins us now. She's live at Hartford Police Headquarters with more on this. Aya? Yeah, police say this was a very targeted incident. It was a drive-by shooting. The 25-year-old victim was outside with several others when he was shot at a number of times. Police have identified him as 25-year-old Yosef Lopez of East Hartford. This is the 17th homicide in Hartford this year. Let's show you some video of the scene earlier this morning. It all happened just after 1130 last night in the south end of the city. Police were alerted through shot spotter and they also received multiple 911 calls about the shooting. The victim suffered from several gunshot wounds and was taken to Hartford Hospital, where he later died from his injuries. Investigators were out throughout the morning collecting evidence. Hartford Police Major Crimes Division immediately responded, and they've been searching for evidence all morning. And keep in mind, this comes on the heels of what's been a very violent summer in the Connecticut cities of Hartford, New Haven, and Bridgeport. The chiefs of police of those three cities addressed the issue Tuesday and also today, saying they hope added resources can help bring about change. The commissioner, the mayor, the chief of police, uh, we're all working together and uh, they've given us every resource that we need. Um, so uh, we're looking forward to some uh, future endeavors in regards to potential future programs, better relationships, uh, furthering our relationships with our uh, federal, local and state partners. So police are interviewing neighbors and witnesses, and because this investigation is still in the early stages, there's no word yet on any charges or arrests. We, of course, will keep you updated on the latest, and have we will have much more coming up in the next half hour. Reporting live this morning in Hartford, Aya Galal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.